Sasha, the big story around the team has been the 22-year-old goaltender, Sam Montebo. How has he been? Has you being the leader been around the guy since his call-up? Yeah, he's been confident. Like he's a young guy and first time in the in the league, and the, the way he, he acts in the locker room and on the ice, he's confident, calm, and we really we really trust him. And he's giving us a chance to win every game. Well, good luck this afternoon. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Markov out in front of the net. Here's Hoffman. One timer misses. Oh, he had some heat on that. It's Yandel up at the blue line. Has Hoffman again. Sets him up again, and he scores this time. Mike Hoffman is his 33rd of the year. It is just incredible to watch. All he's got to do is hit the net. Have control play early, helped by the power play, of course. Now Toffoli has a chance. Montembeau the save. And it's a penalty on the Panthers. Only the third penalty this season in 71 games that Alexander Barkov has committed. Oh boy, that shot had some heat on it. It went over the net from Kopitar. I wonder if that's an intimidation kind of shot. Young rookie goalie, you pull one right by his ears. Chance here, breaking in his brown. All alone to the backhand, he scores. Well, now you know why the Florida Panthers appreciate Barkov not taking a lot of penalties. Here's Ekblad with a wrister blocked away in front of the net. Huberto tracks it down. Gets to Matheson. Holding on to it. Getting by Brown. Mike Matheson puts it in front. Dandoff scores! Mike Matheson, gorgeous on the play, sets it up. And Dadnoff gives the Panthers the lead. Boy, what a pretty pass on the backhand by Matheson. His 23rd of the season, scored by number 63. Tavoli with a steal on the line, takes a shot wide. Big Karam off the end boards, now put in front, and Montembeau robs Tafoli. Great save by Sam Montembeau to keep the Panthers up by one to Los Angeles. That's that big line that had a couple of shifts early. Chance here in front of the net, and Brown is stopped by Montembeau. Montembeau, as Robbie Tallis talked about it, always at the top of his crease. That was a huge save. It's stolen away from Dadnoff. Jeff Carter breaks in, has a man in front, and shoots it. Montembeau the save and the follow, and then they score. Lights it. What a mix-up, and it started in the offensive zone. One save, two saves but you can't make three in a row. Florida is challenging that there was goaltender interference prior All right. to the so the goal. goalie interference challenge. After the coach's challenge, the call on the ice stands, we have a good goal. Florida is charged with their timeout. So the Panthers charged with a timeout, lights it for the second time in the game. Dustin Brown to the Panther blue line. Brown moves in, has a man in front, and they score! And the Kings have the lead, three to two. Panthers down for the first time in the game, nearly 50 minutes into it. Brown to Kopitar. Remember those two power plays in the second period where the Panthers had a chance to extend the 2-1 lead, unable to do it. Looking for a chance here. It's Hoover down to the net, pumps it away, and Dadnoff scores! Evgeny Dadnov, two goals in the game, and the Panthers are back to even with 6-12 left. Dadnov circles with it. Back again, Barkov puts it in front. A chance for Huberdo. And quick stretch down, he goes in. Yep. Huberdo scores. Ruled a goal on the ice immediately by Brian Pachmera. He was emphatically pointing to the net. Is he correct? That's the question. So let's get the After video full rundown. Review, the call on the ice is confirmed. We have a goal. Two seconds left, and the horn sounds, and that's it. The Panthers pull it out in LA. They have won four in a row behind the rookie in goal. And again, the talk's going to be about Mont Montembeau. Four in a row.